Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and welcome back to the glorious Overanalyze, which is of course the best Overwatch coaching series there is in existence anywhere in the universe, ladies and gentlemen. Good God. So today we've got a very special video. What I'm going to do is just play this while I tell you what's going on. And of course, if you would like to send a video in for consideration to appear on the series, then do follow the instructions that are on the screen. Okay, you might have noticed this is bronze, but this is very special bronze. This player has 85 hours on Winston, but is stuck in bronze. This is a very special case. Now, remember what bronze is. Bronze is the extreme low end of the game. I hate to say this, but they are the worst players, but not for the most obvious reasons. It isn't because they're bad at the game. It's generally because they have very bad habits or these players may be good. And, and don't you guys laugh there in the comments like, stop me talking about bronze players good. Yes, they are, but they just don't have Overwatch sense. In this game, there is a very special thing, and this is the ability to read the game. You can go very far. I have got myself into top 500 just, just understanding the game, playing Winston, playing tanks, and knowing what to do. Could I do that with DPS? No way. I'm not mechanically good enough for that, but I can use my brain, and that applies to absolutely everybody. Um, and by the way, disclaimer, this was like top 500 like back in season three or four for like about four games. It, it wasn't very long, but I got there, ladies and gentlemen. That's all that matters. What I'm saying is you don't have to be the most mechanically gifted player to reach the highest levels in this game. And what generally happens at this level is players just repeat the same mistakes. So we're going to go hard here on this th th this player because this player can easily get into platinum. Easily. Right. I don't know why Genji's there. This is bronze. So we're going to see a lot of this mad stuff happening. What you've just done there, and I'm not going to pause it, is waste your barrier. Why did you use the barrier there? We did not need to use it. Remember, you need the barrier to survive. You need it to protect your team. I've got to pause that because that's just horrifically bad. Again, this is like a a problem with understanding when to use your abilities. So firstly, we see Genji in a stupid position. So we just zap Genji. That's all we do. If he gets close to us, then we melee him, right? Because a little bit extra damage, like in terms of burst, it's actually the same amount of damage if you're constantly hitting with a Tesla cannon or Tesla punch, Tesla punch, Tesla punch, right? Because there's a delay. Difference with the punch, right? It's instant damage. The Tesla like takes a second or so to input that damage. The punch is instant, right? So zap them, punch them, zap them, punch them. Like, it might burn him down because the rest of your team is there. Anyway, we didn't need to use our bubble there because, well, it, we could have just walked up to him and zapped him and killed him and then just carried on moving forward, right? Then we leap into the roof. I've never seen that happen before. I don't know what you were thinking there and it's caused you to waste your bubble. Now you're horrifically out of position with minimal healing. Now, this is where we need to think about what we're doing. What is this? Like, we're just sort of trying to... Like, what is the plan, right? The rest of our team are doing work. They're killing people. We're walking in. Like, why are we walking into this point? We've got jump pack available. Jump does damage. When you jump in the air, you want to land on people and either melee them instantly or fire into them with a Tesla cannon. I wouldn't worry so much about getting melee into your rotation right now. Just focus on finding targets and hitting them. We should have jumped into this point and then started zapping people. The diva would have been deleted. We land on her, Tesla cannon her, she's dead. We take the point anyway. But we could have played so much better there, right? There was like three or four mistakes already just on the first attack there, which is generally what happens at this level. So we're looking here and we're thinking to ourselves, what are we going to do, right? What's the plan? Well, Torb is lower. What's Torb doing down there? We could jump on Torb there and harass him if we wanted to. Well, let's not focus on that too much, though. It looks like you sort of knew he was there. Genji is sort of messing about. This Genji is really bad, but then this would be the case in bronze. Well, I mean, like I say, he's really bad. It might not be a... It might not be a bad player mechanically, but his positioning was horrifically bad. This is what I mean about Overwatch Brain. Very simple concepts. Let me draw on the screen, right? The Overwatch Brain consists of this. This is your team. This is the objective. Your team attacks the objective together. We do not go on our own. We do not run off like crazy. What just happened there is, this is the objective. This is your team. The whole enemy team is down here. Apart from Genji, who, who, I don't know what he's doing. He's over here. He thinks he can attack your team. No, he can't. And then he's dead. That is stupid. However, you've just triggered me with what you've done on the point here. You just walked onto the point again. You have jump pack available. We need to use this. Jump in there. Land on them for the splash damage. Think, look at this Mercy, right? She would be down to about this much health here if you landed on her and then hit her with a Tesla cannon. But because you haven't, right? She's got this much health, which is like more health, which is bad, right? We don't want that. All right, let's uh, let's carry on with this and see what happens. So we're on the point. Deploy our barrier. That's good. We target the mercy down. That is good. Now we've got... Don't do it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do, um, don't you dare. Right. 
I know this is going to happen. I absolutely know. I've not watched this video, but I can tell this is going to happen. Look at your health. 305 health. We are in normal Winston form. We have the Tesla cannon available, which means we're going to do more damage than if we pop this, right? Popping this will give us 1,000 health, but it will, it will basically heal ourselves completely, right, to 1,000. So what we want to do is wait until we get super low health, right, about to die. Then we pop Q. The reason why we do that is to get maximum time with the Tesla cannon. If you pop this now, which I, 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 I bet my life you're about to do this. Knew it. So there you go. You're your thousand health and armor. And then you're just like doing Winston things on the point. But you could have actually have done more work with the Tesla cannon there. It might seem like a small thing at this level. Probably doesn't matter as much. But when you start ranking up, it's going to matter. And this is crazy. This is crazy. What are we doing? Why are we attacking the turret? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Look at the picture. Use your eyes. Use your brain, right? This is why Overwatch is really an easy game, right? If you if you think logically, like at every point, just think logically. Like a machine, like Spock. Become Spock. Become a Vulcan, right? You look at this and you go, well, what is going on right now in front of my very eyes, ladies and gentlemen? Well, there's a Torb, and he's got a turret. And Torb seems to be hammering on his turret. Then there is a beam going into Torb. From a mercy who's around the corner. What could this possibly mean? Well, it means we're never going to kill what is in front of us. It also means that we are attacking the wrong target. And we need to not attack this. We need to get on the mercy. Ah, oh, that was just like... I mean, your team have come through there, but that is bad. We don't have a ball to stop that bomb. That's going to be bad. Uh-oh. And, uh, yeah, we did get hit with a mini grab from Arissa, so that's fine. Right. Target priority is terrible. You are Winston. You can delete the squishies. This means you want to jump on the supports. Look who they've got. Like, again, this is a thing which happens throughout all of the ranks, apart from Master and above, is people do not press tab or do not bring up the score screen enough. I do not know what the enemy have got. I know they've got a Zen because I can see him killing everybody. We should think to ourselves, we want to smash Zen. We're going to find him. We're going to jump on him. We're going to smash him. Now, I know they've got a Torben Arissa set up in the corner. It's not ideal, right? We're playing Winston. It's hard. That bomb's pretty nice. That's actually that's actually a huge play there off that D.Va. That is absolutely huge. You did identify this, though. So forget about what D.Va's just done. You identified the bomb, and then you followed it in. That's the right thing to do. We can just bully, bully Genji. He's got no chance. I'll just bully him. Um, also, I want to talk a little bit about your sensitivity of your mouse. Remember, you don't have to aim as Winston. You just need to look at the target, <laughs> right? So what I want you to do is... Also, we should be... Jumping up in the air as well and, and all of that good stuff when we need to delay the point. But we'll get onto that if it happens. Um, yeah, but you don't need to aim with Winston. So you can actually make Winston more sensitive. Like, Winston is the only hero in this game where I ramp up my sensitivity way beyond what I normally use. Um, I don't do it for Reinhardt because I need to line up my fire strikes. So I sort of need my hit scan uh, sensitivity for that anyway. But Winston, you don't. You can just go mentally high sensitivity. So you can rapidly find new targets because that's all Winston's about. This was okay, though. It wasn't too bad. There were some glaring mistakes, though, which as you go through the ranks, as you get into, like, possibly gold, people will start punishing you for that. So you need to try and work these out of your game. So let me just explain while, we go, while we're waiting for this, what I'm talking about with uh, Winston jumping up on the point. So imagine this is the point. My diagrams, ladies and gentlemen, are legendary. This is the point, yeah? And we're fighting on top of the point. When the massive fight is breaking out with Winston, if we're taking massive amounts of damage, an easy way to mitigate damage is to use your leap to jump straight up into the air and then land back down, right? Another thing you can do as well is deploy your dome barrier when you're in the air so it falls down with you because actually a lot of people don't realize this as Winston players but this is the this is the barrier it's a circle it's not like it's not a dome I mean I just called it a dome right it's not a dome it's actually a big bubble a big circle so when you're in the air like this when you deploy it here you actually get a big bubble so it does kind of protect you a little bit and it protects like more area actually it's funky right so do think about introducing that into your uh, play when we need to contest the point which I'm assuming we're going to have to do if they end up taking this point or even taking the first point now, Winston on defense here, I wouldn't play Winston on defense. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter at this rank. You just need to be good with your hero, and you'll get out of this rank. We do have an Orisa. What you should be playing here is D.Va. And the reason why you should be playing D.Va, because she adds to the power of the Orisa comp, of the Orisa barrier. I don't think we've actually got anything to supplement the Orisa. I don't think we've got, like, a Junkrat. Or, or, or heaven forbid, a Torbjorn or anything like that. But we're playing on the point, so they've got to come to the point and fight us, right? So, yeah. Also, voice comms communication. Oh, did you see that? 
There, actually, it's there when Zen gets a mad kill. See, so all these guys have got. Is that the right click? Ah! All these guys yeah, got mics charge, and they're only just talking like, oh yeah. Why? Guys, you don't have to you don't have to be friends with everyone. You just need to make basic calls. Right, oh, your Hanzo is gonna trigger there. me into high heaven. I don't know what the hell he's doing over there. Listen. What the hell is he doing? He's gonna get killed. But look, he's got a scatter kill, so like I'm a big Hanzo player. I'm gonna stay here, and then I'm gonna die when they realize Rushing that I'm there and just kill me. Easy money. Boom. Right. You can jump that. Jump it, jump it, jump it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kill the Zen. Oh, yes. Yes. Good. Good. Winston is the hardest tank in this game to play. Do you know why? Because you need to know when to go and when not to go. You go at the wrong time, you get deleted. You go at the right time, you wreck people. Reaper is a bad, bad time for us. A real bad time. We need to be mega careful of Reaper. Even when like that there, he's diving into the team all crazy because he can do massive damage. We need to follow this soldier. What? Why? What are you doing? You should have followed the soldier. Yeah, I know their team's there. Actually, this is decent on the mercy. You should have followed that soldier, yeah? And you might have been able to get the kill. Remember, you can disengage with the jump pack. If things get too hot and you had your bubble up, you can just bubble yourself, turn around and get the hell out of there. That's what he's like an assassin, Winston is. Goes in, he gets work done. Look at look what the enemy team have got. We know they've got a Winston because we just... Uh, not a Winston, a Widow. What the hell is that soldier? We've got... What's happened? Oh, I thought the video failed. Um, we know they've got a Widow. Widow is who we want to get onto. Now, this is crunch time, isn't it? Because we don't want to use our primal until we're about to die. This is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah. See, so you do it. And this, I find this all the time with players of this rank. Like, and I know this is a bronze game, but it's the same in silver and probably gone, like, guns. Gold, to be fair. That's like a bronze gold go? matchup. I died. You do the right things oh, sometimes. So you know what you should be doing. But then sometimes you do metal stuff like, why are we not killing this widow? We know there's a widow and she's standing in front. She's killing the whole team. She's killed the whole team. What are you? Like, yeah, we've killed. Oh, ah. Ah. I mean, widow is on the point there because she's mental. No. Remember, you can bubble that as well. I know your bubble wasn't up, but you can bubble the diva bomb. But our priority here is this is just a mess now. This now is like, we don't actually need to talk about what's going on here because we've, we've won this. We should have. If you die now, I'm going to be like, what the hell's going on? Where is your team? Oh you need to learn how to jump. Right. Okay. Okay. Not okay. Good. okay. We're pausing this because your jump is just going to trigger me into high heaven. So let me draw again because this is the best way for you to learn, right? So when you jump with Winston, right, I'm going to draw on the screen the mouse action I use. So imagine this, like, my crosshair is, is is this line, right? I know this doesn't make any sense, but just listen, right? When you jump, you do this, right? You aim up like that, and then you press... Well, you don't press J. You probably you press left shift, right? But J means jump. So you look up, and then you jump, right? What you should do is this with your, with your, with your screen, right? You should do that, right? So you look up, and as you hit this apex, that... Well, as you hit this apex, right... J, that's what I'm looking for. You press jump. So it's like a flick of the wrist. You flick up and jump. Flick up and jump. Flick up. You don't have to aim up and then jump and keep looking where you're going. You look, you, you basically flick it to where you want to go. You jump up into the air. Then you start looking at the ground. You start looking at where you want to go. That's how you do the Winston jump. It's dead simple. You need to go into custom games and practice this because you do not use what is basically 50% of Winston's kit. The well, it's probably more because the jump gets you into positions, gets you out of positions, gets you onto the right targets. You have have to know how to use the jump. So we're taking heavy damage here. And remember what I said, you can jump up into the air to avoid the damage. Luckily, it looks like we're okay. But again, look at our ultimate. Oh, Soldier just walks behind. Okay, whatever. But look how, uh, if, if Soldier wasn't there, right, we, there was potential for us to get aggressive onto the enemy team. When there's multiple targets and you're hitting them with a Tesla cannon, you will charge your Primal Rage super fast. And then you could have just popped Primal in their face. It would have been like, oh God, there's suddenly a low Winston. Now he's a massive high health Primal Rage Winston. He's smashing us all over the point. Primal Rage as well, I want to just talk about... This actually isn't a bad position you're taking up here. This is good. That's a, that's a really good position. But Primal Rage, you use this to stall out points. So if you know you're losing the point, just Primal. It doesn't matter because they've got to get you off, right? An all-time loss attacking a point is a win for your team. Same for on the payload. Uh, or if it's like... 
a last ditch kind of attack, you're going to pop primal. Or more advanced uses of primal are when you know you can get environmental kills, so you're going to knock people off the map. Or if you notice a lot of low health people, and for some reason you need primal. And, 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 we're still talking about primal. Let me pause this. Primal, when you jump with Winston and then pop primal, you then, it resets your jump so you can jump again. So you can actually do two jumps. So you can jump like like this. Uh, hang on. Where's my, where's my pen? There it is. Jump like this, yeah? So uh, this is the jump. So we've jumped here. We're going up in the air. Then we pee. Well, well, it'd be Q, obviously. We pee for primal, right? And then we can jump again. And then we can jump again. That means we can cover massive distances. So you can, in theory, use primal to get back to a point quick to contest it. You jump, primal, jump. Jump, primal, jump. That's the right. It's, it's dead simple. Winston is very simple. It's just about game knowledge. It's just about reading the game and understanding like who your primary targets are. In this match here, we want to kill the Widow, right? We want to kill the Zen. We want to kill the Mercy. Look at Zen. What's Zen doing? He's like, where is he? Like now, now this is getting risky, right? Like, what are we doing here? We're not really with the team. We're walking around the back. There is somebody to our left, which we know about, who's going to start killing us. Yeah, we jump in. We miss. You have to aim to land on people with Lee. Like, look at what's happening here. This again is just, this is just game knowledge. And, oh, right. The golden rule of Overwatch is always be aggressive when you're learning the game because it's easier to be less aggressive than it is to become more aggressive. What you just displayed there is disgusting passive behavior. I don't know whether you've looked in the mirror, but you are a giant gorilla from the moon. In fact, this is where you come from, Horizon. It might be the worst map in the game, but this is where you come from. Look at what is happening in the kill feed. I'm not even going to draw on the screen. You can see Soldier as annihilated three people with attack vices running forward. Why did we back off? Like, we could have jumped forward there and secured those kills on the Zen who was escaping. Well, the Zen's dead, but whoever the hell it was escaping, we could have wrecked them. We are massive. We got, like, look at that, look at our health. We're pretty much full health. We had jump available, so we could have got in there. Be more aggressive, but don't be too aggressive. This is the problem with Winston. Winston's actually a really difficult hero. Uh, to play at this level, I think, because you're either going to be way too aggressive or just not going to use him. At the moment, you're doing okay. We're on the Widow. The, yeah, look, the Widow's stupid. Like, no, why did we back off? We got the kill, that's fine. But why did we attack her then walk away? We should have just kept walking into her. Electrocuting her. We can primal this. Right. We could primal this. Do you know why we could primal this? Because look at what's happened, right? Again, this comes back to understanding what is going on with Winston. You, this sounds really stupid, but Winston is not really about looking up, looking at like what's going on on the screen. It is, it is, because obviously you've got to look at the screen. But you're Winston. You've got to think to yourself, okay, how can I mess the team up? Right, well, all the teams together, right? The person I just killed has been rezzed. Oh, they seem to be in a little door. Oh, I'm going to press Q. Oh, I'm going to push them away. This is going to reduce their time. Oh, this is a good trade. Yes. Mercy, get behind shield. Instead, we hide. We let them... Like, they're coming in now. This is a problem, right? We jump Solo back in right. behind them. This is good. This is really good. In fact, I want to highlight this. That's very, very good. That is what you should have done if you didn't use the primal. Like, I would have 100% used the primal there just to push them away. You didn't. But what you did instead was dive into their back line, which is great. Because remember, you don't want to be fighting their tanks as Winston because you're never going to kill them. Who you want to kill are the squishies. So that was excellent and I'm proud of you. Now we don't need to use Primal because we've got two kills. It's all good. It's all good. We want to kill the Widow though. Widow's behind. We also need to be aware when our abilities are on or off cooldown. You thought you had Leap there. You didn't. This is really strange to me because if you've played Winston for 85 hours, you should know when the abilities are, 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 are coming up even when you're not looking at the screen. You get what I'm saying? You just get a feel for it. It just becomes muscle memory. Right then. They've got two minutes and 18 seconds left. Again, we're taking decent-ish positions, but we should just reset back to the high ground. That's just... That's terrible play off that Reinhardt. And you're punishing for it. That's terrible. And that's terrible off Zen. Like, these things will stop happening as you go through the ranks. Pardon me. But this is a free fight win, right? Land on... Try and land on people. It's actually easy to land on people now because you can change your direction in the air. Soldier's wasting his attack visor there, in my opinion. But it's fine because the enemy team have given us this free fight. We chase him. What are we doing? No. Oh, my God. Widow's above us as well. Remember, look at what's going on. Look at the Look at the thing. Ah! Right. Widow is above us because we've seen the tracer fire. The red tracer came... 
came in this direction, right? Came like this. We know she's above us. Stuff baby diva. She's not going to do anything. We turn around, we jump the widow, right? The faster you get onto targets, the better Winston player you become. Their soldier, I don't know what he's doing. We're going to bubble him and we're just going to, like, zap him. That was horrifically bad. I don't know what he was doing. If you're going to attack guys like that soldier, at least stand on the high ground. What? We kill him. We jump him. We, ju we jump him. What is this delay? Ah! Well, you're letting him farm you for ultimate. What are the... Ah! We've got primal. Oh, nice. What the hell? This Reinhardt is, is... Never do this. Never charge into the point. Because, like, you're just going to die. Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. Yeah. Almost did it, but you've got to flick faster. So if you've got more uh, sensitivity on your mouse or in-game sensitivity or increase your DPI or whatever, uh, there's actually a video on my channel, uh, Overwatch uh, University, I think it is, um, Total Aim Guide. That's awesome. It's actually one of my best videos, uh, from my opinion, like in terms of production and stuff. Like It really shows you how to set up your mouse. Watch that because you will understand them. But if you had more sensitivity then, you could have flicked up into the air and jumped directly up into the sky instead of out of the fight. And then you would have landed on people for potential damage. This primal is... I don't like this primal, right? And let me just explain why. Well, no, I'll, let's just play this, but I'll explain why. Yes, use primal to keep him. yourself alive, but not when there's just one person left from the enemy who's got no health, and the rest of your team are literally on the point. That's such a bad res. Like that, we've punished this Mercy now, so we just dive her and kill her, because she's dead, that's it, right? I think what happened is you wanted to stay alive at all costs. But imagine if the enemy team now got together properly and didn't just run in piecemeal to the point. If we had our primal then, it would have actually helped us out more. And this will happen as you go through the ranks, right? So sometimes as Winston, it's okay to die. Don't think to yourself, uh oh, I've always got to stay alive at all costs. Because that's never going to happen. You're Winston, right? You're, you're like the tip of the spear. You're going to go in and get frigging killed. This is what happens with Winston, right? Don't be ashamed of that. Don't be ashamed of dying. And always think like... You press tab, so that was nice. Always think, like, what's the plan? I don't think we're even going to get to the point. Uh. All right. Okay, I think I said everything I need to say about this. There is hope for you, right? You are a decent player. Just go and learn jumps. Learn Winston jumps. Try and increase your sensitivity as well. I think that'll just make you better straight away. You make good decisions, like, 70% of the time, I think. But those 30% of the time where you make really bad decisions, they are quite bad, and that's going to cost you. Um, like, for example, that primal at the end there... It's a really bad primal because we've already won the fight and we might need that for the final attack. If you're playing in probably platinum and above, you're definitely going to need that for the final attack because the enemy team won't just run in like they did there. The, the Reinhardt won't just charge in. There won't be mental plays like that because people will stay together or try to, especially as you get higher through the ranks. That will definitely happen. You are a good player though. You won't be bronze for long. If you watch this video, about 100% guarantee you won't be bronze for long. One thing I also want you to do as well is use voice, but don't like you don't have to go like, hey guys, let's all be friends. Just call out targets, right? Say, I'm going on Mercy. I'm diving Mercy. I'm on Mercy. Mercy slow. Mercy low. Mercy one. Mercy one. That's basically how I, like that's how I talk. I'm on Winston. Winston's low. Winston's one. What I'm doing is I'm going, I'm calling my target, yeah, because you're coordinating the dive in a way or or the who the DPS need to attack. You're shouting the name. So it's like, I'm going on Zen or Zen, 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 yeah. Zen low. So that means you've Got him to like 50% health, basically. <laughs> Zen 1, that means he's 1 HP, or Zen Lit, or whatever you want to say. Like, Zen's about to die, kill Zen. That's how you play Winston, yeah? I'm sure you've watched people like XQC and streamers like that. You'll notice that this is what they do, because that's how you play Winston. You're just like, Zen, 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 low, Zen, low, Zen, low, Zen, 1, Zen, 1, kill Zen. Yeah, awesome. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Silo, so this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video. You can subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. If you'd like to send a video in for consideration to appear on this beautiful series, then do follow the instructions that have been on the screen. I've been so this is Unit Lost, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.